Okay, right now we will try to make a, a grid shell, which will be based on our shell, on the shell which we imported from the SAT format. So let's look for the uh, uh, parameters on the shell. Um, surface param should be... Uh, a good option, uh, UV parameter at point, uh, let's rather look for the um, point at parameter. Uh, then we are connecting surface and then we have to create a list of parameters like we did uh, with the a normal truss. So let's make like uh, zero 01 or maybe let's operate on the number of the divisions. Uh, let's make different uh, in both direction. So U and V and make an uh, integer slider to control the number of the of the divisions in both uh, in, in uh, U and V direction. So if we increase the numbers, we see that uh, the points has been created, but uh, not uh, as we know, we have to use the cross product to do it. And then we have a perfect uh, notes uh, list uh, for creating some grid um, of the beams. Let's uh, make a little bit less of these points. Some reasonable numbers. And uh, let's uh, quickly make uh, beams in the longitudinal and transverse direction. So I think the fastest way is to use a polycurve. Uh, polycurve uh, by points, it's this one, and uh, let's see, yeah, we have the transverse uh, beams, and then we would like to achieve the, the beams in the secondary direction, we will uh, use a trick, a transpons, which is just flipping our uh, data in the opposite, um, from, it's creating, you can imagine it that from uh, the column, it's creating um, uh, rows. So if we have a two dimensional matrix, we are changing the position of the um, elements in it. And if we do like that, we see that we achieved a perfect grid, rectangular grid. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is all right now.